You know that Joseph Pilates um, always said that you're only as young as your spine is flexible. And what we forget is that our spine is actually meant to have three major curves in it, the cervical curve, the upper thoracic curve, and the lower lumbar curve. And so it's an S shape. Due to our crazy lives, we tend to flatten it all out and we lose the curves and then we end up with pain and tightness. The other thing though the spine is supposed to do is not just bend forward and backwards, it's supposed to be able to rotate as well as side bend. And it's typically when you talk to people about, you know, 99% of people have back problems at some point, it's, it's typically occurs when they're doing nothing, like brushing their teeth or reaching back to get something from the back seat of the car. And so in order to keep that spine really flexible, there's a little series we're going to do now that is just all about stretching your spine. Uh, I always like to start the warm the workout though with a warm up. So if you've already done your workout, your other Pilates workout, and you're doing this as an addition, then obviously you don't need to do the warm up. But if you if you're doing this as a standalone little workout, then definitely do your warm up. So again, the warm up is about getting blood and oxygen circulating through the body. But more importantly, Joe Pilates figured out that if he could have you lying down on the machine with your feet on the foot bar, the foot bar becomes the floor. Your shoulders are perfectly aligned against these shoulder pads. And you're making movements like this would be like a lunge or bending your knees to pick something up from the floor. But you're learning how to engage the core stabilizing muscles and keeping your knees perfectly aligned over your feet so that you don't hurt yourself. So it's a re reforming how you move when you do the warm-up too. It's not just about warming up the muscles. The V position works the inner thighs. I love that. Opens up the hip joint. Let's do it with a little more speed, perhaps. Okay, and now heels. Flexed feet, stretch out the Achilles. And let's do the wide position with a pelvic tilt just because it makes it a little bit harder. So lift your bottom in the air. One, two. I really should take the pillow out from under my head. I have a very healthy neck, so I'm okay, but if you have any kind of neck issues, make sure that when you lift your pelvis up, you have your headrest flat. Last one. Roll the vertebrae down like one at a time. All right, so let's do knee stretches. Not only does it strengthen the knees, but it's actually a wonderful stretch for the spine. So you sit back a little bit, lower your head, and create an, a, a curve in your spine to really stretch it out. And push back and pull in. One, two, three, four, five. Ten. Now, the same exact movement, but you're actually in extension now, so you're stretching your spine the other way. Now from here, going to the upper body, down stretch, but your back is really an extension as much as you can. Do you see that? You're not a plank, you're actually bending backwards. Stretch out hamstrings. Other 
side. Last one. Good. So now, an upper back stretch. Feet on the bar. Straighten your legs as much as you can. And then pull on the bar and pull into your upper back. Really stretch out all those muscles of the shoulders, under the shoulder blades. I don't know, I get really tight under my shoulder blades sometimes. I think it's from all the computer work that we do. And typically it's on one side more than the other, which is annoying. So Pilates will really balance that out for you and make your right and your left side even, even if you're a dominant right or left-handed person. Now the hamstrings, go straight into the hamstring stretch, which is important because hamstrings are attached to your pelvis, which is the base of your spine. I think is really unique. So, sit with this leg bent and bring this knee on the floor behind you. And then you're just going to raise this foot a little bit and roll over kind of onto so that your hip rolls around forward and the stretch occurs deep inside the, the hip joints. And the more you rotate, the more you're going to feel that stretch. Last one, and now reverse. So bring the knee, bring this knee to the ground, up a little bit. Last one. Now let's do the actual spine stretch exercise, which is fabulous, especially right before you go to bed. So in this case, you need to take your pillow off and flatten your headrest. And you're going to put your foot in the straps. Not the strap. Two cords is good for this. Now the starting movement, you actually begin in frog position. So the movement is, um, it's made up of a few different parts. So the first part is push heels together out to 45 degrees. Then lift your both legs straight up in the air and allow the machine to lift your body. So you're in almost a shoulder stand. Then you bend your knees with your heels together, bring them down towards your bottom as far as you can without letting your bottom drop at all. And now roll your spine down, leaving your feet exactly where they were, as far as you can go before you have to pull. And then when you get to this position, which is stretching all through here as much as I can, then I bring my feet back to the frog position. So now one, up in the air, bend, roll down. Up in the air, Bend and roll down. Push two more. Last one. And roll. Fantastic. So now my spine is to feeling totally amazing. I could actually do this right before I go to bed so that I really sleep well in a perfectly aligned position. 
I could do it first thing in the morning and prepare my body for the rest of the day. Please email info at letterliving.com with any questions or comments, and please also visit our facebook.com slash letterliving page in order to receive daily letter living suggestions and to share your journey with other people who seek a lighter, longer life. The media, including emails, videos, articles, web pages, etc., published by Letter Living, contains information about medical conditions and treatments. The information is not advice and should not be treated as such. The medical information in our media provided by ourselves, our licensors or suppliers, is provided as is, without any representations or warranties, express or implied, concerning any treatment, action, or application of medication or preparation by any person following the information offered. Neither we nor our partners, or any of their affiliates, will be liable for any direct, indirect, consequential, special, exemplary, or other damages that may result including, but not limited to, economic loss, injury, illness, or death. Lighter Living does not warrant that the medical information that we publish will be constantly available, or available at all, or that the medical information that we publish is complete, true, accurate, up-to-date, or non-misleading. You must not rely on the information that Lighter Living publishes as an alternative to medical advice from your doctor or other professional healthcare provider. If you have any specific questions about any medical matter, you should consult your doctor or other professional health care provider. If you think you may be suffering from any medical condition, you should seek immediate medical attention. You should never delay seeking medical attention or advice, disregard medical advice, or discontinue medical treatment because of information published by Lighter Living.